On Tuesday of the Passion Week, Jesus went into an intense day of teaching directed at the religious leaders who had burdened the people with rules and laws. Though their intentions were to obey his law, many of the ancients were left feeling that they could never measure up and that the burden of perfection crushed their souls. I'm going to read this passage from Mark chapter 12, 28. One of the teachers of the law came and heard them debating. Noticing that Jesus had given them a good answer, he asked them, Of all the commandments, what is the most important commandment? The most important one, answered Jesus, is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all of your strength. The second is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Think back on that first date that you ever went on. Chances are your preparation for this date was flawless. Pearly white teeth, best clothes, and heaps of perfume and cologne. When the member of the opposite sex arrived, you probably made every effort to be the absolute best you that you could be. No matter how hard you try, there will always be that one piece of lettuce in your teeth or that joke that is just too inappropriate or falls flat. The good news is that perfection isn't typically what people look for in a significant other. They rather want someone who knows and desires to know them deeper. Jesus desires to know and love you. And he wants you to know and love him. Out of the 613 individual rules and laws, he wants you to know that he comes first. And he shows that with his death on the cross, wiping away all barriers between you and him. Secondly, the natural overflow of loving God is that you will love his children. Putting aside your church attendance, your memorized scripture, and your ability to follow the rules, how much do you love Jesus? How about his children? 